In this video, I'm gonna share five free tools that you can use for your presentations. And I also have a bonus tool, so make sure you watch till the end. Hi everyone, welcome to BIM Lounge, it's good to see you. Now, I know this is not quite a BIM related video, but I know each one of us at some point has to deal with creating a presentation. So let's dive right into the list. Canva helps you create graphics for your presentation, social media posts, infographics, and so on. And it utilizes the freemium model, which means that you get a lot of the features for free, but also they have advanced features that would require a paid version. Now you can see all the different templates that they have. And for this exercise, I'm going to show you the infographic in particular, because I use timelines a lot. And just to show you all the different options that you have, you can import uh, stock photos or just upload your own media. And you have all these uh, static and animated elements that you can add, text, music, videos, uh, and even backgrounds. Now at this point, let me show you how easy it is to edit. You know, all this is text, so you can easily add your own text. And of course, you can, uh, you know, depending on the template that you have available, you can uh, look at all the different animations. And what's nice is that you can uh, actually animate these pictures on your presentation. So now, for example, I picked the GIF image because it's the easiest to animate and uh, you can either download it or um, copy it to your presentation. And as you can see, it's very easy to use and it creates a certain impact on your presentation. Now, I highly recommend that for your presentations, you always show more pictures and illustrations than text. For this reason, I like to use um, stock image services like Unsplash. Other options are Pixabay and Pexels, which are all great. But I like Unsplash because of its license and because of the quality that you get from these pictures. Let's take a quick look at the license here because I like to point out that you can uh, use these images freely for commercial and not commercial purposes and you don't really need a permission but it's always good to attribute and thank the author now you can either go ahead and download the actual image and you know you're welcome to say thanks to the author and what i do personally is copy the image and then paste it directly into my powerpoint presentation Now recently I found this service called Headline Analyzer and this helps you optimize your titles and headlines so that they're more engaging. Now in this case, I went ahead and used how to create a presentation as a title. And if you look at it, you can see, for example, that the word balance isn't ideal. There's a neutral sentiment and the character count is not ideal again. Now I went ahead and added more keywords that should trigger emotions. For example, how to create a beautiful an engaging presentation and as you can see and this is a way better title it has a positive sentiment it has the right character and the right word count now I wouldn't apply these recommendations to the letter but this service does give you good guidance in creating more engaging titles Related Words is a very interesting alternative to thesaurus.com in that it gives you more than synonyms. It provides you with a whole range of words that are related to the keyword that you input. Now this is very interesting and useful to find uh, names. For example, I was able to uh, brainstorm the name for some of my websites. Xmind is a beautiful mind mapping software that I also use for presentations. Now the primary use for Xmind is of course uh, creating mind maps. So you can brainstorm with yourself and with your team. Now Xmind is a paid service and that's what I'm using right now, but I highly recommend it as a free tool also because I've been using the trial for a few months and it hasn't expired yet. By the way, if you wanna learn more about Xmind, I have a couple of videos about it that will give you an introduction and uh, a feel for how to use uh, shortcuts to be efficient with it. So how does Xmind fit into the whole presentation list? Well, I like to use Xmind as a presentation tool because as you can see, you can convey complex and structured concept using graphics and in a way that is uh, easier to understand for your viewer. Now, if you've ever played high quality videos during conference calls, you've probably noticed that the image quality was low and the whole experience was laggy. Now, with SyncTube, 
you can uh, create rooms and uh, essentially watch parties and now I'm browsing existing public rooms but what you can do is of course create your own room we're gonna go ahead and, and do that what I would recommend is that you go straight to the settings and you set your own name and of course you want to go ahead and uh, name the room and uh, make it private because you only want to share this video with your team what you want to do at this point is of course upload that video to YouTube and set it unlisted copy that URL and uh, send it to the whole team and at that point when everybody's ready you can uh, hit play and as you can see the site SyncTube will go ahead and uh, sync that playback so everybody can watch the video in high quality uh, with no audio lag at the same time as a typical watch party and of course there's also a chat option that may be useful to your team now a question for you, what other tools are you using for your presentations? And also, if you like TextMind, you may be interested in watching these videos. And thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.